Hello everyone, my name is Victoria and welcome to today's video where we're uh, connecting with the whole continent of Europe. And uh, this was a suggestion from Paul, so thank you Paul for the suggestion to connect with continents. And of course, uh, the first one that I would like to connect with is where I'm from and what, where I currently live. Actually, the only continent I've ever been on is here, Europe. Um, here, Europe, yes. Um, and um, if you guys would like me to tap into the energies of other continents or places, let me know in the comments. And if you have any other suggestions, also let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a, definitely an interesting one because um, in the last years, um, I myself have gone to a few places in Europe. And of course, I can definitely tell you that the energy in every single country is different. And in every single city is different. And of course, in every building, it's going to be different, etc. Um, but together, the energy of Europe is... Uh, we're we're going to be figuring out the role that Europe has in the story of the whole planet just like you yourself could try to dive into the energy of each country to see what role they play in the story of europe itself and in the story of the whole planet as well um so yeah it's quite interesting getting into things like this and uh, tapping into the energy of a whole continent um and Working with the energies of the the lands as well. So, what I can say is that when I when I tried tapping into it, when I tried <laughs> when I started tapping into the energy of the continent, um, it kind of felt like what I was shown was like this winged creature, kind of looking up from above, looking at everyone else. Kind of felt like spying, but also checking on everyone. So it kind of has this feeling like looking at everyone, like making sure that everything will be fine, making sure that no one is going to do anything suspicious. Um, surveillance. And um, another one after that, I, I, I feel like this is more about the energy of the people living in the continent, though, because it was definitely the energy of, like, two people hugging each other, but then uh, talking behind each other's back and, like, actually looking at their phones, not caring actually about each other, but pretending to care about each other. Uh, so there's definitely that kind of energy where, where <laughs> ooh, you're pretending to care about a place because of social media. And um, I'm sure that there's people all around the world that do this, but this is just what came through for here. Um, so uh, this this must be quite prominent here, I guess, where where people pretend like they it's like they don't fully care about the people in front of them, and they're constantly looking online on their phones at other people's lives, looking at uh, gossiping or just looking at others and, um, yeah, not fully paying attention to what's in front of them. And, uh, I did want to also ask what is the role of the people who live here? Um, even if they're not from here, what is their role? And maybe people who are from Europe, but, um, live in another continent now. And um, something that came through was for what what we're supposed to do now is, well, very grounding energy came through. So grounding and um, going back to nature and actually working with the, the, the elements and um, trying to, to, what's the word, when you, you get off the phone and... <laughs> You go out into nature. Oh, there's a specific word. Um, I lost it. Um, but that's basically it. Trying to tap back into the, the to into getting into communication with nature. Actually, uh, the people here, uh, activating the nature here, working with it because I think there's very powerful points. What's coming through right now? Uh, they're telling me. Oh, 
I guess the continent is telling me <laughs> um, that there's very powerful points here in Europe, even though it's the, the, a very small continent. I don't know if it's the smallest. I could be lying. <laughs> um, but even though it's a very small continent and not that much land uh, compared to some of the others, um, there's very high energy points here that are very important. And uh, they are now starting to become activated again, uh, because, partly because of people going uh, to them and activating them, but partly because of the energy shifting and the energy being raised um, altogether. So yeah, that was really interesting. <laughs> uh, really good channeling there. Anyway, um, let's look at what cards came through as well for what is the, uh, I guess, energy of Europe right now? What, what is happening? So we have the Smith and the Archer, but the Archer is reversed, which is really interesting. This deck uh, has like explanations of um, what the cards mean in reverse as well. Um, so let's talk about the Smith here. We have overthinking and taking action. So um, there's a lot of, again, that, that kind of thinking, thinking and uh, not not being sure if you should take action, uh, where there's this energy of not wanting to get anything wrong, not wanting to step on anyone's toes, but because in the past you made a lot of mistakes. So um, I, I think the past is really... Um, really hanging over people's heads um, and really making them unable to move forward, making them making it harder for them to make decisions because they're they're second guessing everything. They're overthinking everything and wondering what is this person going to think of me? What is that person going to think of me? You know, if I post this, will will they think I'm like a really nice person? <laughs> um and just uh constantly thinking back on the mistakes and being scared of making more mistakes, which is one of the worst things that people can do, actually, is being scared to make a mistake again. Um, and it's something that I guess they uh, they teach us in, in school and I guess when we're young that, you know, whenever you make a mistake, they yell at you and they're angry at you. But they that shouldn't be the case uh, because when you yell at the kid for making a mistake, it's going to start being scared, scared and even more scared of making even more mistakes. And then it's not going to want to ever ask questions. Uh, that's one thing that's coming through. People don't want to ask questions. They don't want to dive deep enough because they're scared. <laughs> they're scared to step on anyone's toes, let's say. Uh, and I have seen that um, since I, I've met quite a few people from all around Europe and uh, seen that, you know, people in some areas are definitely uh, more exactly scared, scared of offending anyone. Um, and that's probably a theme in other places too, but here it's really happening because of the history and because of all these mistakes and being scared of making more mistakes. Um, when, when people don't realize that if you're a different person, if you've learned from your mistakes, you're not going to make the same mistake again. Um, and th there's something about not taking action when you're supposed to. Um, try, kind of pretending to take action. <laughs> Just kind of the same as like if you're posting things on social media, but you're not actually... If you're posting like, oh, I had so much fun here and posting a picture, but then you didn't really have that much fun. Uh, because you're too busy thinking about, oh, how do I frame this photo? And, like, what should I write? And what will people think about me? <laughs> this is just an analogy, of course. This is, you know, <laughs> just a, a way that I'm trying to explain it easier. But it, not saying that everyone is thinking this way. But there's definitely that energy of not living in the moment because you're overthinking about other things and worrying about things and not in, not enjoying and not taking action when you should, really. 
Um, and that's, that's very interesting. But we also have, you know, obviously the smith is someone who, who creates things. You're, you're creating. So Europe has created a lot. Europe is creating. Europe is working. <laughs> the land, the energy of the land, it's working. Uh, it's being rebuilt. It, just like I said, there's a lot of energy points that are now starting to become activated. So, there's, that's why there's a huge emphasis on the mistakes and not making the same mistakes again. Because the energy points are starting to become activated again. People are starting to, you know, hammer them and work on them, striking them so that they can iron everything out and, uh, like create, create something again. Create uh, that line no not line like <laughs> the web like it's activating the web uh that was not fully active before uh, so by activating the energies you're activating more of the web who that's going to connect everyone and all the energy so energy will flow more more easily and naturally um through through the whole continent so because of that there's this fear there's a fear of, oh, what if we repeat the mistakes of the past? What if we bring the, accidentally, you know, activate these portals, let's say, and we don't bring the right energy in? What if we bring the negativity from the past with us? And it's, it's really, like, really interesting. <laughs> let's see what the other cards are as well, so... You know, I can I can talk even more, I guess. <laughs> so we have it's not me and submission. Hmm. With it's not me, it's that I'm definitely feeling like a, both of these are kind of making me think about misunderstandings. So if you watcher viewer, <laughs> if you are not from Europe, and even if you've been here before, and you think, oh, I know a little bit about Europe. You know, if you're not from here um, and you haven't lived here for long, you probably have like a certain idea of what it's like here and what people are like. And uh, maybe you've heard a few things here and there uh, online or in books or in movies, uh, but you don't really know exactly what it's like. Only people who, even the people who live here don't really know fully what it's like. If you haven't been around a few of the places as well, you don't know what the whole continent is like because you only know your point of vantage. And there's so much of thinking, oh, exactly that social media thing, looking online and thinking, oh, this person is living such a great life or such an awful life because they're posting this and that. Uh, so it, people are thinking one thing about the whole continent and the energy of it, but it's not really that. So there's a misunderstanding of what it's like, what the reality is. There's a misunderstanding of everything, of the whole... I, I think this misunderstanding is what's jumbling up all the energy. It's coming because of the fear and because of the, obviously, <laughs> misunderstanding from other places. Um, and... There's also something about uh, this, like a, the looking glass. Like It's like a mirror here and looking through. So you're looking, but you're looking, it, it's like flipped. You know, when you look at yourself in the mirror, that's not actually what you look like. You are flipped. Um, right? <laughs> I'm looking at myself in the mirror right now and thinking, I'm right, right? <laughs> Is this like some stupid thing I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, but there's something about that, like how how even the people here uh, and Europe itself, like the whole continent, it's not viewing itself the way it should. Its, it's view of itself is skewed. That's why the people living here have a skewed view of reality and of themselves and of the past. They're thinking that 
just like of themselves of the other continents and places and people as well you're thinking that oh well all of these bad things happened here we, our ancestors did so many bad things you know we need to atone for our sins there are people here who think that i don't if anyone is doubting what i'm saying <laughs> this is legitimate i've heard people tell me this <laughs> um they're, that is happening because they, they're they looking at the other continents and they're thinking, well, I heard the, this and this about that continent, but there doesn't seem to be that much bad there. But there was just as much bad and good there as there was here. And uh, just because you don't know about some of it doesn't mean it didn't exist. Um, and that's a very important key thing. Again, not looking at things... F uh, in such a skewed perspective. And it's sad. It's quite sad. Because the reality... Yeah, the reality is, you know, the reality. It's not just positive and it's not just negative. But it's not as uh, awful as people think. Um, it's just the same, like in all the other places. And... Submission is also a really interesting card. Again, talking about the past and the the weight of the past, uh, basically making you submit and making you unable to free yourself. So the whole continent is feeling trapped. The energy is like trapped and scared. And always, like I said from the beginning, always looking and surveilling, making sure that, you know, no one is going to steal my things. No one is going to rob me or no one is going to, you know, hurt me in any kind of way. Always looking. No one is going to start a war with me. <laughs> um, hmm. um, so because of all of this, it's really hard to feel free. And people here don't feel free. They feel trapped. I think that's why a lot of Europeans actually move out of Europe uh, or go on vacation out of Europe and seem to enjoy it more than vacation here because they feel trapped. But if someone from overseas came, overseas, yeah, I, from another continent came here, they might not fully experience the entrapment. Um, so they might feel differently about this place. Um which, which is interesting. This is really, just a really interesting reading, honestly. <laughs> With this image, what I find really interesting as well is how the flowers are kind of growing out of here. So even though there's trapped energy, it, things are still growing. You know when you see in some like really weird places flowers growing? Like, um, I, I can't think of anything right now. <laughs> there's like really weird places where there's no vegetation, I guess. And there's like a flower growing out of there. Which is like miraculous sometimes. Um, like a, a, over a man-made thing. And it really feels like it's still trying to get out there. Whatever is trapped, the energy, the beauty, the the expression is still trying to go out there. But it's being constricted because of all of these issues, I guess, from the past that uh, haven't been let go of. And uh, they really need to be released. People and the whole continent. So what the energy, I guess, is telling me that the people are the continent. Every single person is like, imagine how your body is made up of cells. So we're the cells of the continent. So because we are feeling like this, the whole continent is feeling like this. Um, and it's about letting letting the energy flow. So the more people allow the energy to flow through them, that's when the continent itself will will open up as well. And that's why it's so important. That's why the people working on, on energy points and ley lines and things are so important because they're also helping the continent itself uh, like unblock parts of it. And 
because they are doing that, they're literally affecting every single person who lives in the continent. <laughs> um, and kind of forcing them to release something uh, and to confront something, which is really interesting. Okay, let's jump into uh, asking about what the people living here are supposed to do. I already, I guess, touched a bit on that, but I want to get some more information. So we have strength here and the page of swords, but let's get a few more cards. We have also the star. And let's see if anything else will come out. The Seven of Cups. So let's roll with these ones. Yeah, w w I mean with the Page of Swords and the Star in Strength, all of them coming through together uh, really <laughs> is showing uh, that people who who live here, uh, like I was saying, they, the more they allow themselves to um, be be clear to clear themselves clear their bodies clear their minds uh and gain that new clarity that new idea that new freedom the freedom of mind because we're only trapped in our minds and people feel so trapped the continent feels so trapped but once we start seeing those little things kind of like how i was saying how some plants grow on like really weird places i feel like it was a bus stop or something that there are some flowers growing there um like a mailbox i don't know really weird place i and i was so shocked i was like wow that's so amazing that like a flower can grow here as well um so seeing that and knowing that there are more possibilities there are possibilities there is a way to free ourselves and we don't need to be brought down by by the past we don't need to feel bad because of what's happened in the past the more we let go of that the more we also have compassion for each other understanding that everyone is feeling a little bit of this Everyone is feeling a little bit of their history. And not just people here in Europe, people all over the world. And uh, some people that live um, in other parts of the world still have European heritage. So are probably carrying some of this energy too, some of this trauma. Um, this feeling like, like you need to atone for your sins again. No. There is a way. There is freedom. And freedom is achieved in, just with the mind. So looking, looking forward and looking at the bright side, looking at the, the good side, uh, what's coming through is not, not thinking about what bad things are happening here, what you know bad things are, are happening right now, what bad things have happened in the past and what bad things could happen in the future. Thinking about you know, what good has come uh, all of these years? What good is coming right now? And what good can we create and manifest? And look at the Seven of Cups. It's like a creation of so much, so many things. Creation of so many beautiful things. Um, and even this, I, I guess the parfait, this one has like uh, the skull here. So some might think, oh, this is like an evil one. Let's say that. <laughs> and everyone is going to have like a different favorite as well. So it's like a beautiful mix of all of these things, all of these cultures, all these energies. And uh, everyone is creating. Everyone is... Everyone is happy. Not just happy. Not It's not about happiness. It's about being free to create what you want. And knowing that there is beauty even in the darkness. Um, and I think that's something that people here have trouble uh, coming to terms with. The beauty and the darkness. I, I think uh, this, this entrapment has come because people are so scared of the darkness. People are, again, scared of uh, make, <laughs> making mistakes and asking questions. 
people are scared of all of that. But it's time to start asking questions. It's time to wake up more. It's time to, uh, you know, speak out more. It's time to, again, also be compassionate with yourself, first of all. Knowing that you have this in you. this Some of this trauma. Oh, if you're from here. <laughs> um, and... Being kind to yourself when you notice some some triggers or, or things like in yourself, in your speech or something like that. You'll notice something, at least one thing in your life that has been affected by some of this energy. Being compassionate with yourself when it comes to that. And also being compassionate with everyone else around you. Like all the people who um, are doing some of those negative things that I was meant talking about in the you know, other part of the, the first part of the video, being compassionate with them and knowing that, you know, they're doing that because of all of the, the trauma from the past that's just built up and it, you, no one is letting it go. No one's releasing it, but it's time to release it. Just like the star here, release it, release it. And uh, the way to release it is with the earth, with connecting with the nature. The nature can uh, help everyone naturally release it and also open up the energy flow. Allow the energy to flow in the right direction. That's what they're telling me. They, I guess, the continent or, yeah, the energy. I like saying they for some reason. <laughs> but sometimes it might not exactly be a they. It could be just one thing. We also have Cocoon of White Light here. So resting in perfect love and understanding oneness, again, yeah, very important thing for everyone uh, living here to do is understanding um, that we are all one. We might all be from different countries, all be from different continents, all look different, but in the end, we're all one. You, watcher, viewer, are another version of me. I'm another version of you. You are not receiving this information from some other person, from something somewhere else. You're receiving it from yourself. You yourself self arranged for you, <laughs> the current you, to watch this video that is made by another part of you so that you can understand some of this. And once people here start understanding more of that and coming to terms with some of that, I think uh, they'll... they'll well, most people, if they come to terms with it and understand it, they will completely change their lives and completely change the energy. But um, specifically here, it's very needed. So the more people here in Europe that do this uh, and also who allow themselves to rest. There's something about resting, meditation, and calling in light, calling in pure light and love into themselves calming down as well calm calm more of a calm nature calm energy is needed again the grounding energy that i felt when i asked what needs to be done by i guess us now that's what needs to be done a grounding a calming and when you ground yourself you're not as scared anymore. You're not as anxious. Why are you anxious? Because you're up in the clouds. Like I said, the first thing I saw, taking a creature taking flight. So going up above and like floating around. Well, you need to ground yourself and know that everything will be okay. That's when things will really be okay. <laughs> not when you're uh, looking at everything and like checking every single scenario. That's why I'm not trying to look at what the future of Europe will be because there's infinite timelines. I can't tap into every single one. And even if I tap into the one that's most, uh, let's say most, like the highest percentage, the most likely to happen, Every single one of you will go into a different timeline. <laughs> so one of you might go into that one that I'm talking about. But another one might go into a completely different one. And I might go to a completely third different one. So on and so forth. So, yeah. It's about 
what, what we need to do for together, to work together. What the what I'm being shown is like like ants working together because we are a bit like we're all connected. Uh, our minds are connected. That's why we all experience similar things, similar themes in our lives, and we have the all the similar you know trauma, for example, or triggers, or triggers happening at a similar time. We're all connected. It's like a hive mind, but we just don't understand it, um, and the more we relax, we can tap into it. But I'm not sure if it's the best idea to be tapping into it right now, since the energy is still quite, like, ugh, <laughs> all over the place. Um, but the more people, you know, do these things, start waking up, start, you know, just focusing on good things and enlightenment as well. Uh, and focusing on understanding oneness, really, like understanding that we're all one. Uh, no more segregation of, you know, uh, creating different groups for different people. Enough of that. <laughs> We've done enough of that. Um, I am from the team that's all for let's start coming together. <laughs> Merge more and more groups together and understand that, yeah, you can be yourself. You can express yourself. But ultimately, we're all one. We're all the same. Understand that, and we can uh, we can live happily ever after. Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, what I'm trying to say is that the energy will start to most likely it will start to kind of calm down and look up. Definitely look up. Um, I I do feel like things are definitely more likely to be positive than negative <laughs> though I said that I will not do predictions <laughs> I do feel like that because look also the arrow when the from the archer card it's shooting up so again you're shooting at the stars so even though all of these things you know the the fear of the mistakes is there we're still you know shooting high towards the stars so yeah Really, this was a really interesting one. Um, I'm really curious what you guys think about it. So please let me know in the comments. And if you live in Europe, um, please let me know if you ever felt any of this um, or noticed or saw any of it. Um, and if you completely disagree with everything that I said, sorry about that. I'm not sure how you made it to this part of the video. But I love you anyway. <laughs> and I'm sending you um, hugs. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you're interested in a personal reading, guys, details of how you can contact me are down below. Anyway, for real now, time to go. Time to end the video. Hope you have a great day. See you in my next one. Bye.